2 Kings 7, we find the people of Israel inhabiting the city of Samaria. But the Aramean army has seized it. In other words, they've camped around it, not letting anything go in or out. And there are some lepers kind of trapped in between. Because of all this, Samaria was in a state of famine, and the king of Israel and his people had grown tired of waiting on the Lord. Now, the chapter before gives us a glimpse of just how depraved Israel had become. The king even sends an officer to kill Elijah, but Elijah gives them a promise from God that by the next day, food would be abundant and cheap. The officer laughs in disbelief, but that afternoon, God confuses the Arameans, and they flee their camp, leaving everything behind. Now, the lepers happen upon this and enjoy some of the spoils for themselves before sharing the news with the city. And remember the king's officer who laughed? Well, he was appointed to manage the crowd going in and out, but he was trampled in the process. So just as God promised, the city was saved, food was abundant, and the officers saw it happen but didn't get to eat. Now all that's an interesting story, but what can we learn from it? What does it teach us about the nature of God? Now first, I would say that Elijah represents the Word of God. The Bible clearly states the promises of God that are available to us when we put our trust in Him. Second, the people of Israel represent the depravity of a culture who has got grown tired of waiting on God's promise. Third, the officer represents those who openly mock and don't believe God or His promises. And finally, I find that I relate most with the lepers, those outside the city walls, unclean, undeserving, yet God has allowed me to experience His wonderful promise and then share it with the world. And what is this great promise? If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. Amen.